Okay, today we're flowing the exhaust port of the uh, R1 Studebaker Avanti cylinder head. This is a stock exhaust flow port. We've uh, got the regular intake valve closed off with the springs and we'll set our lift for a hundred thousandths hundred thousandths uh, inch lift over here we'll be using the again the FP1 flow performance uh, CFM calculator open up our program for the FP1 the computer is uh, zero weighting there's the initial calculation I'll execute a, a second one second zero cal calibration for the FP1 Okay, the numbers look good, so we'll uh, bring up the big view screen and uh, there we are inside. We're still in mode zero with the calibration uh, plates uh, D, which are the, the two plates inside the machine. And at the back of the port I'm using a half inch uh, radius for the exhaust uh, port. Okay, I'll bring up uh, the first motor. So at uh, 100,000, so we're roughly uh, 38 to uh, 40 CFM. 38.7 CFM for 100,000. Then we're increase it to 200,000. We're about uh, 82.1. There's 300,000. And because the pressure has dropped down below 6, I'm going to add a second motor. Uh, 300,000 for uh, roughly 108 uh, CFM. That's 400,000. Around 118. And we'll look at 500,000. 500,000 and we're around 127 uh, CFM at uh, 500,000. So those are the flow numbers for the exhaust uh, on the Studebaker exhaust port number one. Thank you for viewing and uh, have a good day.